Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know, <laughs> you guys are probably wondering, um, sis, what ha happened? So basically, what ha happened was, your girl is in quarantine, and I got really bored, and I wanted to get creative, okay? <laughs> So that's how we ended up with this whole situation. No, but seriously, I have in my hands the new Huda Beauty Pasta Obsession Eyeshadow Palettes. We have three different palettes over here. And I really wanted to try two palettes at one time. So that is how we end up with today's shenanigans. So if you guys want to see how I created this look, as well as my thoughts on the new Pastel Obsession Palettes, just keep on watching. So the pastel collection comes with three different palettes. So the first one we have right here is pastel rose. And that's what it looks like on the inside. So pretty. I love the pop of yellow right there. It's such a beautiful color. And then the next one we have is pastel mint, which is the blue palette. I mean, guys, look at these shades. So pretty. I'm obsessed with the shimmers. And then the last palette that we have is pastel lilac. And it's the purple one. And this is what the shades look like in this palette. The colors are just so rich. The palettes are all so beautiful and I'm not sure which ones I want to go in with just yet. The one thing that I do know for sure is that I want to do a two-toned eyeshadow look. So it's like one palette on one eye, another palette on the other. I know it sounds crazy, but I feel like it will look so fire because they're just such vibrant colors. And I just want to try something different, try something new. I'm really bored in this quarantine light, so I thought why not just go all out with this look today. I'm thinking for sure that I want to go in with Pastel Lilac first because as you can see, it just matches the whole aesthetic that we have going on here today. So I'm going to go in with this palette first. I'm going to start off with a transition color and I'm gonna take this shade right over here. I think that's really, really pretty. And I'm just blending it all the way into my brow a bit because I want it to be a very dramatic eye look. I'm just gonna buff it outward and kind of elongate the eye because when we clean it up with our concealer, then it's gonna be really nice and sharp. So that is what I'm doing right now. And now to intensify the crease, I'm going to go in with this shade right over here. I feel like it's the darkest matte in the palette, so it would be perfect just to add some more intensity into our crease. Oh, actually, it's a little more brighter, but you know what? I'm not mad at it. I'm just going to continue and use that shade in our crease. Okay, so I feel like I like how that looks right now. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my lid using my Sigma Eyeshadow Base Primer, and this is in the shade Persuade. And I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up the lid and just create a half cut crease. I love doing this before I apply the actual shimmer shade on my lid just because I feel like it really helps make the color pop. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now. Okay guys, so now it's time to pack on our shimmer and this is where I'm stuck because there's so many beautiful shades and I don't know which to pick. I'm kind of leaning towards this whole dual color one right over here as you guys can see. It has like flakes of like purple and then a little flakes of pink in there. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna just go for that shade right over here. I'm gonna go in with that and I'm gonna just pack it in with my Fenty 200 brush. Actually, the collection came with some brushes guys. I just forgot about that actually. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up with the Huda smoke and smudge brush or should i pick it up with this i haven't used one of these sponges in a while you know what i think i'm gonna try this this is their eyes shine and line brush so i'm gonna go ahead and pick up some of that shade and just start to pack it in it's been so long since i used one of these like what high school throwback right over here but it actually picks up the pigment really nicely i'm not mad at it I'm gonna switch over to the smoke and smudge brush and then just pick it up with the bottom end and just start to pack it in. Although that sponge was really nice and memorable, I don't feel like it was picking up the color as much as I would like or as fast as I would like. So I'm just gonna go ahead with this brush. 
that is really pretty so I think on the outer corner I'm gonna go in with this darker purple shimmer right over there and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use this makeup brush color cleaner that I have and just wipe away that color from the Huda Beauty brush just so that I can go back in with the same brush and pick up the darker shade Okay, so now that we have those shimmers packed on, I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with my NYX number 17 brush. And I'm gonna go back in with that crease color that we were using and just help redefine that just because when we're packing on the shimmer, it kind of blended it out a bit. So we're gonna go ahead and add that color payoff back in. And what I'm doing right now is just blending it into that darker shimmer shade as well, just like that. So then there's like a gradient effect between the matte and shimmers. And then I'm just gonna take my brush right over our crease as well. And then I'm just gonna go back in with my NYX. Oh, the number wiped away, but I'm pretty sure it's the NYX number 16 brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start to blend out the top just so that everything is blended all flawlessly. I really like how that looks right now. It might look very simple and it might not be as vibrant right now just because we don't have the rest of our base makeup on. But once we have our foundation, concealer, and you know, everything is all put together, we have our full face glam, it's gonna really stand out. At least that's what I think. For the lilac palette, of course, the number one thing I have to say is the mattes, they blend flawlessly and the shimmers are super pigmented, pretty much just like any other Huda Beauty palette. So I'm not disappointed in the formula because they're very consistent with that and the color is always super vibrant and pigmented. You do get a little bit of fallout, so that's why I like to do my eyeshadow before my base, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. So if you do your eyes after your base, you can just go ahead and leave some setting powder and it won't be too much of a fallout, which is really, really good. So now we're going to move on to the next eye and I'm going to go in with the pastel mint. I know I was this close to going into pastel rose on the other eye, but now that I'm looking at the palette, it has like hints of yellow and stuff like that. So I want to create a different type of look for that. So I'm going to save this for future. But for today, I'm going to go in with the blue just because I kind of feel like with the lilac palette, we have this whole monochromatic lilac look going on. And I feel like the mint palette will match that vibe as well. And now I'm going to go ahead with this brush and it's by Nabla. It's their Precision Soft Crease Brush. I'm going to start off with this shade right over here. I feel like it's really, really pretty and super bright. So I'm going to go ahead and use that as my transition color. Okay guys, I'm actually thinking I'm gonna switch over to this shade right over here for my transition color because it's just speaking to me for some reason. So I'm gonna start picking that up. It's like a really beautiful pastel baby blue type of shade. And I feel like that's gonna give me the look I'm going for in my head. Okay, so this palette has a lot more fallout than the other one. So just a heads up on that. But I'm not going to bother to clean it up too much just because we're going to wipe it all away later on. But I just want you guys to be mindful of that. I personally don't mind fallout as long as I get the color payoff that I'm looking for. And now for the crease, I'm going to go in with this darker shade right over here. And I'm going to pick it up with my Fenty Beauty 330 brush and just start working it in. Okay hey guys, how pretty is this shade? I think this is my favorite shade in the palette so far. It's super vibrant. So now I'm gonna go back in with that Sigma eyeshadow base and I'm gonna do the same thing I did on the other eye and just carve out our crease, add some more definition there before we pack on our shimmer shade. So now that we have our lid all cleaned up, I'm gonna go in with this soft dab and smudge brush by Nabla Cosmetics. And I'm gonna pick up this shimmer shade right over here. I feel like that's really, really pretty. So I think I'm actually gonna leave this shade to be our darker shade in the outer corner. And then in the inner corner, I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, which is like the dual color shade that they have in the palette. And I'm gonna pick this up with, it came in a nice brush set. It's by Moda Brushes. I'll link them in the description box below. But I'm gonna use that and pick it up and just start packing it in the inner corner. I feel like that'd be really pretty. 
I'm gonna continue to pack on that blue shimmer. Okay, so now that I'm looking at it, I don't think I really like having this dual shade in the inner corner just because as you can see here, this whole eyelid is really purple, but here it's starting to look like it has more of a silvery kind of inner corner and I want to keep the whole look more of the mint vibes. So I think I'm gonna have to go in with another shimmer shade in the inner corner. So I think I might try this one right here and pack it on and see how I feel about it. Hopefully it gives me more of the color that I'm thinking about in my head. That shade is super pigmented. So then I'm gonna go back in with the blue and just blend it into the inner corner shade. And now that we're done packing on the shimmer shades, as you can see, it got a little messy. So I'm gonna go back in with my Fenty 230 brush and I'm gonna pick up this shade right here that we used in the crease to define the crease. And I'm just gonna start packing that over our shimmer shade. But I might have to go in with a more smaller brush. So I'm gonna pick up the Lash Line Smudger from Nabla, just so I can really get in there. There you go, I feel like that's a lot better. All right, so this is what the eyes are looking like right now. Let me know in the comment section below which side is your favorite at the moment. I'm kind of leaning towards the blue, surprisingly. I don't know, I guess we'll see once we put on the rest of our base makeup. So I wanna keep this review just to the Huda Beauty palettes. So I'm gonna go ahead off camera and just finish my foundation routine. It's pretty much the same as usual, guys. Not much has changed, but I'm gonna go ahead and just do the rest of my beat off camera and I'll be right back and we can go into completing the eyes. All right, guys, so I just went ahead and finished the rest of my base makeup and now I feel like the shadows are really coming to life. I just feel like it looks so weird right now that I'm looking at it because I feel like this eye just totally blends in with the overall theme. And then this eye is literally just coming out of nowhere. It's so random, but I'm here for it. So now we're gonna go back into the eyes and I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara. I love this mascara, so I'm just gonna go ahead with a light quote. I'm not gonna put on too much because I'm gonna go in with falsy, so we don't really need to be doing that much. Okay guys, so I just went ahead and plopped on some lashes and the lashes that I'm wearing are by Lily Lashes. This is in the style Hollywood. And while I waited for those to get tacky, I went ahead and lined my lips with my, of course, NYX Lip Lingerie Lipstick. And this is their Lip Lingerie Push-Up Lipstick actually in the shade After Hours. You guys know I love using this lipstick as a lip liner. So for the final touches, I'm gonna go in with this Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick and this is in the shade Trendsetter. I feel like it should be a perfect nude lip combo for this makeup look, so we shall see. Oh yeah, I think that's perfect. I didn't want anything too pink. I feel like it would have thrown off the look, you know what I mean? Because it would just be too matchy-matchy with the lilac shade that we have going on. All right guys, and that is the final lip combo. I feel like it complements this makeup look very well. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But yeah, this is the final look. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like how the whole outfit, as you guys can see, like my top and my hijab are kind of like lilac vibes, kind of goes with this side, but then this is like a huge contrast. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling it. I wish I had a hijab that was like an ombre purple to blue. I'm slipping guys. If I had that, that would have been the perfect look for this makeup look. All right guys, so this is the final look of me using the new Huda Beauty Pastel Obsessions eyeshadow palettes. I'm not gonna lie, I'm here for this moment. It's a look, it's a vibe, and it's definitely brightening up my quarantine boring doll days right now, okay? This has helped me, you know, be a little bit better. To give you guys my final thoughts on the palettes, I mean, it's a no-brainer. The formulas are pretty much very similar to the regular Huda Beauty formulas. I feel like it blended out beautifully. The pigment is there. The colors are beautiful in the palettes. They're very travel-friendly for when we do get out of this quarantine. <laughs> So that's amazing as well. So I would say it's definitely worth your coins. It's a cop and not a flop. 
I know that sounds so corny guys, but I'm thinking that might be a new series on my channel for makeup reviews. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys agree with me too. I don't know, I'm trying to get creative on my channel here, create different series so you guys know what that series is for. Let's Talk Skin is for skin, Copper Flop for makeup reviews, just so that if it's worth your coins or if it's a flop, because it's not, okay? <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of doing a whole Mean Girls situation where they say, stop trying to make fetch happen. I feel like that's what this whole name with Copper Flop is, but I don't know. Let me know, guys. Should we make this happen? Let me know in the comment section below. This is a 10 out of 10 in my books. I can't wait to create more makeup looks with these, and I cannot wait to get more creative, and I can't wait to tap into this palette as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, if you did, make sure you subscribe and join the family. It would really mean a lot to me if you did. Also, make sure you turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. I upload every Thursday and Sunday, and and like always, I'll see you guys in my next video.